take off the mask. Yeah. Mask off. Mask off. <laughs> hey guys and what's up and welcome to GCK's Facebook, uh, no, YouTube channel I guess. Uh, this is where I'm, I'll be staying for this week, my van tour, or it's not mine, it's my, my partner in crime, uh, Bjarte, you'll probably see him around uh, this week. Uh, I'm uh, today just like Friday, just before a race weekend starts, uh, having some headshots with IMG doing some media stuff. We have driver briefing, web draw, track walk. Uh, basically a pretty chill day, but uh, at the same time, crucial and necessary. So stay tuned and follow me through my race week. Because I would like to come here with a straight car and brake a little bit later and make it a V. Yeah. The, how is this corner for you? This is you doing a V, I'm doing a B. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second, wait, wait a second. What did you say? I said you're gonna do a V and I'm gonna do a B. And what's a B? Backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Pointing this one. <laughs> <laughs> Can we bring back some memories from 2014 down the straight here, over the jumps? So, oh, so when when it's raining, this all is so slippery and wet. If you go a little bit off the line. Well, she is taking the B line, which is the backwards entry line, then you have a chance of going to white. So he did, no traction, and I just snack on the inside over the jumps. Mm, bye! <laughs> I think 2014 was the last time we drove here, I finished second. It was a pouring down rain. Worst rain showers I've ever seen in motorsport. Too low and too low and too low, yeah. then you get single wheel spin, yeah. which eats up the tire and you lose the traction, so that's why we came up a little bit more. It, it's such a different philosophy from, um, from uh, what I was born into, you know. Uh, my father and my uncle was racing super national rear wheel drive cars, yeah. and they was always building the cars themselves, no roll bars softest springs you know the, yeah. the car was uh, one wheel in the air all the time and then working with Petter Solberg oh soft 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 yeah. soft soft <laughs> yeah. just so you understand yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I believe in what you have um, learned and experienced over the years the only thing is that they could put the gravel back not between the races though no but, but bring the practice ah uh, yeah could they could do the race. Yeah, so I think it's going to be big. You think? You think? Mm. Yeah, well, listen, Andreas backwards. Get in the door. Andreas, good to see you. It's looking very cool. Yeah. Where do you want to go? Uh, uh, race 2, P3 for Andreas. The draw is just done and I picked race 2, position 3. It was a very hard pick because I was so late in the, in the draw. Uh, but I'm next to Liam, which is also next to Matthias Ekström. Uh, I think it's going to be a clean heat, hopefully a clean heat. I hope the track evolution is not too bad. Uh, and I hope for better luck on the draw tomorrow, because uh, not the ultimate uh, position being on the outside, but uh, we're going to... It is what it is, and we're going to make the best out of it. All right, Friday show is over, and I'm heading back to the camper van. The guys are still working on the cars, it's, even though it's dark, I think it's like 9.30 in the evening. <laughs> yeah. You want to know what a champion eats for breakfast? Dark bread, cheese and steak. Okay, steak for breakfast and everybody thinks this is awful <laughs> but I like it what is liver liver pie. liver there you go yeah feeling pumped today even though I'm not always enjoying every morning but uh, I woke up with my right foot uh, first which is the gas pedal and then uh, I've only 35 meters to the tent in the car so it's not too bad. Salud, salud. Salud, salud. 
be ready by two minutes, please. Is there any minutes? Race 2 Q1, Matthias Ekstrom is on the pole, then next to him Liam Doran and Andreas Backer, the RX Cartel teammates. Great start, Ekstrom on the inside, but Backer and Timothy Arnold maybe even quicker on the outside. Can Ekstrom go deep? Timothy Arnold trying to go round the outside, but he won't have it. Ekstrom holds on, Doran passes Timothy Arnold as well. Tim are all crossed up on the loose stuff. Now Backer going to get through too. Brilliant job, Andreas. Brilliant job. Uh, P3, so far, Andreas, P3. I think the way I went into rallycross was due to my parents and my uncle. And my dad and my uncle was racing folk race and rallycross back in the days. From that moment on, I had a huge crush on rallycross in general. Uh, I started watching European rallycross championship with Martin Schanke, Pat Doran, Per Eklund and Kenneth Hansen, of course. With the springs we are having, I think it's offset a little bit. Right. With, uh, with too much, uh, too stiff front oh, yeah, and yeah, uh, too soft the rear. Distribution between the springs. Yes. But I, I will stay like this. The speed is good. So. Race two, Q two. Andreas Backer, Timo Scheider, Liam Doran, Robin Larson, and Kevin Hansen. All right, just uh, getting into the car before Q2. Uh, on the lineup, we see Johan, uh, which is in the heat before me, uh, getting ready. So I'm just going to mount the air plugs, get ready. I'm in both positions, so all in for this one, and uh, hopefully a good result. Any of these guys could set the fastest time of the session if the track has improved. Ready to race, light comes on. Great reaction time from Larson towards the outside of the grip, but he can't get past Dora. Three cars right contact all the way. Oh, locked wheels on the outside. Larson's on the lock, stops in the gravel, so is Dora. Come on, Andreas, come on, you got this. Backrun, who completely backed out the start, has absolutely nailed that straight to the front. Clear on the exit. Three car left gap behind. Now it's clear inside you last lap, man, come on. Into the hairpin, pull him again. Looking better here, isn't it? In Holly, it seemed like he was really struggling with the car. Again, he was up on the lap. Okay, you clear, you clear. Backer of wins. It's all right. Not very happy. It's all right. When I jump in the car, I'm always thinking work tasks, how to make the start, next corner, next corner, next corner. So it's kind of like a work thing, and I've done it since I was like nine years old. Now I'm 28, so I'm getting the experience out of it. So maybe for this, we need to keep the wreck, but lift a little bit the overall. Yeah, yeah. Just to make sure we don't go on the floor. Yeah. Because uh, otherwise you can't do anything. Or, or go back to what we had before. Yeah, it's not yeah. much, huh? No, it's only it's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, okay. All right, merci. Q1 and Q2 is done and we are fighting for third overall in Q3 so we need a decent uh, race I'm basically fighting Timmy Hansen, Niklas Grönholm to be third overall so those two are on my outside so my target now will be to try to follow Johan around uh, four laps and give it my all and hopefully be then beating Timmy and Niklas the final qualifying session for round three of the 2020 FIA World Rallycross Championship. Backward lost the championship on countback last year. Hansen is the current champion. Gronon could have won it had he not missed a couple last year. This is a heat lineup. Brilliant start on the inside for Extra Man. Christophsen backward going with the Christophsen. Looks like he might have trapped them all. Gronon around the outside. Two sideways. Surely. How does he hold on to that? Extra gets a nudge. He's nearly in the wall. Just about keeps the Audi out. Two car lamps behind, he'll be right on you in the corner. Yeah, this is a better run. Yeah, this is a much better run for Andres. It's good to see him back up there in the pace. Try and get a run on him anywhere you can. Come on, mate, let's go. You've got it. Okay, you clear, you clear. I just finished my Q3, unfortunately a bad start and I couldn't really figure out the rhythm. I struggled a little bit with my speed and my performance, so had a bad Q3, ended 
P7 overall after all the qualifiers. So not really perfect, but uh, charge the battery for uh, the semi-final and all in there. It's semi-final time here in Finland for round three of the World Rally Cross Championship, and this one is some lineup. Andreas Backerud on row two, three new boots for Backerud. Yeah, it's a little bit crazy. Should I go down one on the RPM? Yes, and one on the boost on the right side. Here we go! Good start on the inside. Grom's got a great start behind Grom, closing down on road number one up the inside. And Timmy Hansen back with trying to go around the outside. Pops the curve for Grono. Back on the outside, gonna shut the door onto the greasy section of the track. Okay, let's go. Kick him off, let's go. Let's see who decides to joke now. And let's reel him in, mate. Let's go. Everything you've got, reel them in. Starting lap two. Gronom's gone, backwards sticking with that Hansen. Joker, Joker. Okay, it's going to be tight on the exit. You have to overtake. You'll have to overtake on the next lap. Let's go. Get past Backerud and Gronom comes in in front. Come on, be ready for these two. Close the gap. Okay, you're clear, you're clear. The storm has quieted down, I've done the semi-finals, it's been a rather hectic day, like the race format how it is now, it's just like racing, yeah, meeting, race. racing, meeting, racing, meeting, tomorrow it's gonna be a new day, a new race, uh, starting from free practice on, it's gonna be wet tomorrow, today it was super dry and good conditions, so I have, I have a strong belief that we can leave Finland still with a smile on our faces, I'm sure we can take the fight up to the final. See you guys tomorrow. So it didn't rain as much as I uh, uh, anticipated uh, tonight, but it's still very muddy and greasy on the gravel, especially. Heading out for Q1 now, it's super greasy conditions, super hard to start a car with 600 brake horsepower turbocharger off the line. It's, the start is the main thing and the hardest thing with this driving a zip car on wet. Final race of Q1 for round four of the FA World Rallycross Championship. On the inside, Matthias Ekstrom, Kevin Hansen, Andreas Backert, Kevin Ampring and Liam Doran. It's always hard to define how a career happened. It's a lot of hard work, it's good friends that's supporting you when you don't really have much. It's family that drive you back and forth to the go-kart track, to the, to the races, uh, help you to buy your first rallycross car. Uh, it's so many people involved, but at the end of the day you also as a person need to to ask for help and also be sympathetic enough over other people that help back. And this way you, you'll eventually get help, hopefully. Overall, we do many, many steps in the right direction. I had a good start. Finally, we have some good start and that's uh, what I bring with me. I love trophies. I would like to have the biggest trophy in the in the class of the day I retire. It doesn't matter if it's Yatsi in the cabin or Ludo or Monopoly or whatever. As long as I'm competing, that's when I'm the most satisfied. The rain continues to fall here in Kuvala. Q3, race two. Uh, there is a puddle between corner one and two, just as you hit that gravel, there, that will still be there, so be ready with your wipers. Coffee, a little bit. Oh, an amazing reaction time from him. Thought he'd have to dig the clutch again, but he gets away this time. Christopherson shuts the door on back, and Timmy Hansen gonna slide into P3. Clear behind, we need to push now, on this lap. Clean and tidy lap. Clean and tidy lap. Starting last lap. It's tight with Timmy on the exit, just use the line, use the line. Keep it tidy, keep it tidy all the way, all the way. And that is how you do that. Just did Q3 and uh, yeah, I lost the airpiece. <laughs> but uh, overall I felt much better now in the car. I think we, we were really on it on a set of wise. We did great improvements, stars was mega, so all in for the final. I hope we get to the semi final, we should be, yeah. yeah. <laughs> semi final number one here from Finland. Backerud is on 
inside him. Last car on the grid now. Good luck, mate. Nice and easy. Have some fun. Thank you. Great start, road two for back. Okay, keep it tight. Keep it tight. Tight on the inside, inside, inside. Joker, don't follow Robin. Joker, don't follow Robin. There's a uh, backward in the background goes to the Joker lap. So backward trying to find the clear space and Markman's gone with him. Super tidy, let's go. Come on, mate. Let's go. Backward yeah, gets forward yeah. last and holds on for fifth. I don't know. What happened in the turn one? Was it Ritzkonen or Larson? Because they pushed me, clearly. Yeah, they push you. If it's the red command, then he should get the penalty. Yeah, we're going to look at that now. Um, there was also the incident with him and Robin. I don't know how much, but we'll definitely go and look now. I'm about to get dressed into the on the grid for the final because uh, I didn't man manage to get into the final, but I was lucky that somebody hit the track markers got five second penalty. I'm the first reserve, so I go into the final, which I'm super happy for and very happy for the whole team because they have done such an incredible job the last week. So, all in now. <laughs> Why I love rallycross, it's like a boxing match, you know, you have the shit talk on the pre-grid, the mental game, then you jump in the car, you know what you have done to be there and then you need to believe in yourself to perform maximum. Final time for round four of the 2020 FIA World Rallycross Championship. Ready to race light on one last time in Finland. Alright everyone, I think uh, we should be proud that we are in the final today. I think we deserve it. Uh, I think you all did a very, very good job. The result, again, screw that. Next time we go for champagne. We ended P6 today, we had some technical issues in the final with the uh, windscreen wipers. Hansen in between! Oh, he's got him! Niklas Gronholm's got him into turn two, Chris Johnson drops back to P2. Uh, I don't see anything. No risk can drive if you can't see, no risk please. Getting to the final was a big relief for us and I think the boys deserved it. The guys that have been on the floor working day out and day in, I mean like, the guys are working machines, you know, they, they keep on pushing late night early morning so big thank you to them it was a pretty hard final i think we could have managed to get up on fourth third and fighting for the podium but we need to do a better job next time then i'm sure we can end up with spraying some champagne because at the end of the day that's what we love and that's what we want so i hope you guys enjoyed until next time flat out <laughs>